I have a video that has been much requested. Now that video is a sales report on the first pattern that I ever published. I'm being transparent about this because when I wanted to become a crochet designer, I had no idea what to expect at all. I've put it out there as an insight, I've put it out there as inspiration, I've put it out there for new designers but also ones that are already established because the more we talk about the way that we publish our patterns, the more that other designers can also elevate, they can level up. Looking at these figures now, I'm just so glad that I showed up for myself. Hey designers, welcome to HDDC The Hub. I'm Heather and this is a channel for new and aspiring crochet designers so that you can turn your crochet into an income stream. If you are new, hi, hello and welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Now, HDDC The Hub is very, very new in itself. Um, I have done a video all about how HDDC The Hub started and also if you want to see more of the crochet and the things that I make then you also want to subscribe to the HD Designs Crochet channel. Today I have a video that has been much requested um, and I also put some polls in my stories on Instagram and I got a resounding yes please for this video. Now that video is a sales report on the first pattern that I ever published. So I'm going to take you through month by month from August to December 2020 on the first pattern that I ever published. That pattern was called Revival and it was the first pattern that I ever published as a crochet designer. Now I've got plenty of caveats, um, a lot of factors to run through and a lot of notes and I also have recorded my screen so that you can see the spreadsheet that I have created with all of the figures in there in terms of the orders and the amount that that generated for me and I have also taken screenshots directly from Etsy and my website to back up what I am saying. Let's jump in shall we? Right. I'm going to start with my list of caveats. There are a few things I want you to know before we get into this video. The first caveat is that I want you to go and watch my video which was about defining your measures of success. Now that is really really important. I need your mindset to be in the right place before you come and view my figures. The reason being is we all have different measures of success and we all have our own goals that we are ultimately working towards. Now. As a bit of background, when I released Revival, my measures of success was to generate an income on the side of my full-time job. It was a way to have HDDC pay for itself and it was a way to dip my toe in and to try out crochet as a full-time job and it was a way to try out designing. Since releasing Revival, I have then made the decision to go full-time as a designer, largely influenced by the figures that I got from Revival. So please, please go and watch the video on measuring your own success so that you come here knowing what it is that you want from your own business. I'm being transparent about this because when I wanted to become a crochet designer, I had no idea what to expect at all. And um, there isn't a lot out there, and I totally understand why, because for some people talking about finances is a really difficult subject for lots of different reasons um, and also it is very private in many ways and so I don't expect all the designers out there to put their sales reports on the internet and I don't know if I will ever do this again. It largely depends on what you lot do and the way that you react to this. Um, but for me, I wish this was around when I was making my decisions and so I've decided to create that for you lot. I haven't put this out there for you to compare, which is why I've said please go watch the definition of success video. I've put it out there as an insight, I've put it out there as inspiration. I've put it out there for new designers but also ones that are already established because the more we talk about the way that we publish our patterns, 
um, the different factors that we feel influences, the more that other designers can also elevate, they can level up. If a designer comes to me after watching this and says, maybe you should try X, Y, Z, then I would really, really appreciate that because they might have more experience than me, they might have discovered a formula or factors that really works for them. And that's what I'm about. I'm about that community over the competition. I'm not putting these figures out here just to be like, uh -huh, look what I made. I'm putting these figures out there to be like, look at the possibilities of what you could make, look at the possibilities of what is out there. Now, I also did a video on mindset, on lack and abundance mindset, and that is also something very important to watch. Um, the way that you view this video, your perspective, your the, everything about you is going to influence what you take away from this. And I want you to have the abundant mindset when you watch this. I want you to think, Heather's done it so I could do it. Heather's done this so there's so many possibilities available for me. I am also sharing this because the pre-orders for my workbook, which is how to size grade your pattern, is opening on Monday the 22nd of March. By the time you see this, pre-orders should already be open. And I am sharing this because I want you to see what is possible. I'm not sharing it so that you go buy it, I'm sharing it so that you can make an informed decision as to whether you think crochet design is something for you to dabble in and then so that you know that I have a resource there to get you started. Okay, so I think that's all the caveats. We're gonna run through the figures and also I have some information to give you as I go through those figures as to what I feel influenced the spikes and the, the decreases in sales. And also I have a list of factors that I'm gonna run through that I feel that you can really tweak and therefore you can influence the amount of sales you get. So, we are going to head to my spreadsheet. I'm gonna put the screen recording on the screen for you so that you can see not only what I'm saying, but you can actually see it for you. So. Okay, so you can now see my spreadsheet on screen. What I have done is I have filled it out with um, the months from 2020, so I released my first pattern in August 2020. I think it was something like the 7th, um, and I've decided to show you the sales that I got, and so therefore the income generated from those sales for the remainder of last year, which is my first pattern, and therefore my first dabble as a crochet designer. I wanted you to see what was possible, and of course you could exceed this because there's so many factors that influence it. I sell my patterns on two platforms, via Etsy and via um, my website. I also sell them on Lovecraft, but I probably make like one or two a month on there. It's so low, it's negligible, so I've basically not included it. Um, but I can always go and have a quick look and put some information on the screen after. Um, and so I have blanked out the text for now so that you can't see it all in one go. You've got to go through this with me because I would need you to hear certain information. So starting with Etsy in August, as I said, I think I released my pattern something like the 7th. I didn't have the website and so we can automatically just show that that was at zero. Um, so this is the first month and there was a lot that went into this, like a huge amount of work, a huge amount of just a lot. And in the first month on Etsy, I had 104 orders of my revival pattern. Now, when I released my patterns, I released them at six pound for that first month and then they increased to eight pounds. That's something that you need to note down. I'm sure you're taking notes. <laughs> um, I do that because it's an introductory offer and it's one of my strategies in selling my patterns. I know everybody likes to get a deal, I like to get a deal and therefore if you buy it in the first month, you get six pound, you get it at six pound. I am giving you all of these figures in my currency, which is Great British Pound, GBP. So you'll want to convert it to whatever currency you're more fluent with. Um, but I have put the symbol at the top there to show that it's in pounds. Um, so when they go out there at six pound, it then increases to eight pound. So for this first month, they were all six pound. 
However, on Etsy, they have their own way of doing um, the whole VAT thing, which is something else I'm going to do a video on. But they basically, um, I say that I want £6 and then they add VAT on and the way that they mess about with it and take away the fees, you don't always see £6. Um, whereas on Lovecrafts, I can say it is £6 and they will add the VAT on top of um, and the fees and whatnot and I still get the £6. So that's something to bear in mind, which is for a whole other day. But for your purposes here, you need to know that Etsy skews the price ever so slightly. So, around £6 per pattern, which means that when I, at the end of August, I had £547.75. Now, I'm going to interject here and say I was absolutely over the moon with this because I started this as a way to generate a side income. I wanted to make maybe 100 to 200 pounds a month so that it would cover the cost of tech editing. Again, something else I will go into. And so that I would have some yarn money and so that um, HDDC would pay for itself in terms of some of the subscriptions that I have to keep it going. And I also want to be able to give the patterns to my Patreons. So at the end of the month, which wasn't even a full month, to have 104 people purchase my pattern was amazing and absolutely immensely just exhilarating feeling and I will admit that when Etsy cashes out, when somebody purchases something, it makes a ka noise and I love that sound to know that somebody has purchased my pattern which means that I have more yarn money in the bank and it also means that somebody is about to go and make my granny square pattern. It's amazing. So. That was the first month and as I said, um, in September, uh, sorry, August, there wasn't, my website wasn't set up. What spurred me on to go and set my website up is the amount of fees that Etsy takes and also how wildly different the pattern price varies com depending on where you are logging in from. And so I set up my website in September so in September, I had 15 orders on Etsy, don't panic, and that was £82.50. Now the reason I had a smaller amount is because I was pushing the sales towards my website. So I actually had 26 orders on my website, um, which means that I pay less in fees because I'm not paying Etsy fees, I'm just paying PayPal fees and my monthly website subscription. Um, and also, another factor to take into account here before you panic, it's not the release month, so you're not going to see as many sales. And on top of that, I released another pattern this month and so that got more purchases. Um, I released Promise and so most of these 26 here are people that purchased Revival and Promise together. So that meant on my website that month I made £157.48, which seeing as this is one of two patterns and I wanted to make between £100 to £200 a month, I was really, really pleased with that because once you add in the Etsy money as well, I was well into that. October, I sold 26 patterns copies of Revival on Etsy which means that I made a total of £208 and then on my website I sold 54 which is a total of £428.87. Now the few, there's a few factors that influence this. One of them being that the majority of them were on my website and also that I had more control over the cost, so the set price of the pattern, which was £8 at this point because I had increased it because it was no longer the release month. I also paid less in fees and because I'd released another pattern this month, I did have people purchasing all three. So the amount that I made that month was really, really healthy um, in terms of my definition of success. And on top of that, this month in October, Revival was featured on the front page of Ravelry. 
Um, it was worn by Gillian and she made it and left me a wonderful Etsy review which I can't thank you enough for. Um, posted it on the finished project page and it was actually posted on uh, Ravelry's front page which meant I did get a spike in traffic. Um, I think like a very small percentage of the spike actually purchased the pattern but it did help bring up the sale amount there which is why um, my website orders was about around about halfway of what I got on its release month so it gave it it revived revival basically it gave it a second wave um, so I'm really pleased with that and how much I made I do acknowledge that Ravelry did influence that but I don't think it's the be all and end all to my success because you can also place adverts on Ravelry as well to get that sort of interest and I do put a lot of it, attribute quite a bit of it onto the fact that I um, compound. So the more patterns you put out, the more people hear about you, the more people come and purchase your patterns. So when they get there, because you now have three, four, five, six patterns, they might purchase all of them, which means that you get more money that month. Now I'm just showing you revival sales, but I do have other patterns that are selling alongside these. And I also want to pause just here and show you how many orders I made per month as a running total. So in August there was just 104 in just, I mean that's an amazing amount and I'm very very grateful for that. September there was 41 pattern sales and in October I had 80 pattern sales which that's pretty magic so let's just do a running total so so far I'm three months in to my crochet design side hustle start of my business and I've sold 225 copies of revival by itself I also have promise and invested that are also selling um and there's a few on Lovecrafts at this point I'm gonna say I may be sold about six across there. So November I sold 24 copies of Revival on Etsy and I sold 37 copies on my website. Now the reason that there's more on my website is I push my website more because when they're on my website, I then have the chance to ask them to sign up to my newsletter. I also can control the price a little bit better and I get better fees. I pay less in fees and because I'm paying the monthly subscription on my website, that's where I want my traffic to go. So I don't really leave the link for Etsy anywhere. I don't believe it's in my bio on um, Instagram anymore. I only put the link for my website. The reason I've left Etsy is because some people pre prefer trust the Etsy website more than they trust mine, even though mine's set up and it's perfectly secure. Because I have a co.uk URL, some people mistakenly think it means they can't access it in their own country, which they can. And I also have the .com URL, so if you put that in you'll still get to my website. Um, I think also it can be off-putting because I'm not sure that my website shows it in your own currency until you check out, whereas I think Etsy just automatically shows you, so I totally get that. Um, so in November I made a total of £192 from Selling Revival um, on Etsy and then on my website that there was £296 that came in. So in total, that means that I sold 61 patterns, 61 copies of Revival in November, which has now took me up to 286 in total. Now, a little bit more information here so that the next lot of figures make sense. I did debate whether or not to leave this in, but I've decided to incorporate it for a couple of reasons. So in October, I became quite unwell and I had some health issues ongoing, um, which then progressed to the point of December where I took four weeks off from my day job, two of which were unpaid sick leave. 
because I was physically, mentally, emotionally exhausted and I had a lot of hospital appointments and I needed to rest basically. Um, I was near bed bound for part of the Christmas break and it was a really unpleasant time. And because I didn't receive sick pay during those two weeks of unpaid leave, so that my mind could be at rest, I decided to run a sale on my patterns and I posted on Instagram to let the community know that I was in a spot of trouble um, that financially I had some pressures on me because my, my day job wages weren't going to be what I would normally expect and although I was entitled to the government sick pay, statutory sick pay, it is literally a very small fraction of my usual wages. Um, so I ran the sale. So these figures are slightly higher because I did run a sale, but I've included them. One, because you might choose to do a Cyber Monday sale and it will give you an insight of what you might expect or even possibly a birthday sale. I also wanted to include it just so that I could say thank you to everybody that really did rally around to help me because um, I wasn't expecting this response and I was blown away by it. And also I wanted to share it because it shows you how many possibilities are out there. These wonderful people purchased my pattern to help me out, but it also shows how many people are out there that you can potentially sell your pattern to. Now I have quite a small Instagram audience. When I released my first pattern back in August, I only had around 2,000 and something subscribers. And in the grand scheme of influencers, that's that's my new, I am a nano influencer. I'm now at about 4,000, 4,500. When I ran my December sale, I was at about three and a half, I believe. And so it just goes to show that you don't need a huge following to get really good amount of sales. And also that the bigger your following is, the more sales that you could potentially get, which is another factor to consider. So December on my website, I sold, not on my website, sorry, on Etsy, <laughs> I sold eight copies of Revival. And I'm also going to add in here that people really did rally for me and they purchased all three of my patterns that were available. Because I'd been very ill, I didn't release a pattern after October. I became ill towards the end of October and I just got out my third pattern and then that was it for me. Um, so November, December, January and most of February, I have been dealing with my health issues and I haven't put a pattern out. And I now have my next pattern out for testing, which is due to come out in April. Um, and then on my website, I sold 136 copies of Revival, which means that in total, I sold 144 copies, which is more than I did in its release month. Um, and again, there's a few factors there. People's kindness, definitely. People's generosity, undoubtedly. But also that my audience was a lot bigger um, and that I had more patterns available. So people um, really took the opportunity to get all three of my patterns rather than just maybe one. And I also think that the more patterns that you put out there, the more that your website and your platform is trusted especially on Etsy because I have reviews on there and some of you have been really kind enough to go on there and place reviews and it just really helps anybody that's new that discovers me to realise that the pattern is trustworthy. Um, you can't actually put reviews on my website at the moment but I'm working on a change so that you can do that. And so that means that in December from my website I had £995.17 pence in um, revenue just from Revival and that really then altered my entire mindset and perception. So I've always come at this with a mindset of abundance um, but this was evidence, this was in action, you could really see it here and it made me realise that um, 
if you don't feel well and you're unable to do your day job, so you're not being paid, however, your side job covers your wages for you and more, is now the time to jump. And so I made that jump. Um, and I became a full-time crochet designer in February. Now, I know some of you with more of a lack mindset would be saying yes, but you don't have as big a following, it's because I ran a sale, da 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 da. You also need to look at the other side of the possibilities that I have 4,500 people following me at the moment. When I had two, two and a half thousand, I got 104 sales, which was close to 600 pounds if it wasn't for Etsy fees. Now, going back to my definition of success, I wanted to make 100 to 200 pounds per month and I completely blew that out of the park in the first month and like tripled my top goal. And every month since, I have then consistently hit my definition of success. I then decided that I could make this a full-time revenue because I was making this revenue off my part-time hours. And as soon as I level up to putting in my full, full focus and full time into this rather than dividing my time between a corporate day job and trying to keep this going that I would really see the increase in the sales which would then mean that I would be able to hit my new definition of success because I want to replace my um, gross salary from my corporate day job with the income from HDDC. There also is so many ways that you can influence the amount of sales you get not only by the size of your audience but also leverage of audiences around you so for example your testers, you may have a tester that has 4,000 followers, but that their followers are very, very loyal and want whatever it is that that tester has. And that means that you could easily have 10% of their following come and purchase from you. If 400 people bought your pattern, that would probably hit your measure of success and more. And that's just one tester. Um, you can also run adverts on Facebook, on Ravelry and on other websites. You could be featured by Ravelry, by Love Crafts or any of those other websites. Um, you could get picked up on the Etsy algorithm. There's so many ways that your pattern sales can increase. Um, for me, having reviews left definitely helped. Um, and that meant that Etsy picked up my patterns a lot more and pushed it forward a whole lot more. Um, I haven't pushed as much towards Etsy and I can definitely see that the sales are declining there and that's because I've put my focus in on my website but as you can see the sales are climbing over there so it's paying off. So in total it was 430 copies of Revival were sold between August and December 2020. Now as a part-time crochet designer and to give you those statistics off one pattern, when I put out three last year, and had it not been for my health, there would have been more. That's just one pattern. Like, let that just sink in. On my Etsy site, I made £1,094.25 from Revival in one, two, three, four, five months, not even five full months. And again, as I said, I wasn't very well, I didn't push the patterns as much, I didn't put as many out, all these things. Um, I'm still receiving sales on Revival now, and I always will do while it's out there. And then on the website, I received £1,871.52 which is a total of £2,965.77. £2,965.77. From one pattern that I released last year. One pattern. <laughs> I would love to know what your response is to this. Does it inspire you? Does it fire you up? Does it give you that motivation to really get started, to put your patterns out there? Like, I hope this video has really, really helped you because I was not expecting this. 
and had I have known that this was possible I would have put my patterns out a lot sooner because in terms of the debt that I had in terms of the job that I was working this has been life-changing so I hope that this has lifted up the curtain a little bit and just made it more transparent as to what you can expect. Now, I'm not guaranteeing you these sales and I'm not saying that every pattern will do this well. I've got three patterns out and they all differ in the amounts that they make. And um, some months they seem to just pick up and other months they don't. Um, and then on top of that, as I said, there's so many different factors. I'm now starting to do a lot more on Pinterest. Um, I'm starting to, I've done a lot more on my Instagram content, making sure I'm posting more regularly and therefore my audience is growing. Um, I'm getting a lot more testers coming through. So that means that if I pick different testers, more and more people are seeing what I'm doing. There's so much that plays into this. Um, and so no, I'm not saying that you put a pattern out, this is what you will get because it differs for all of us and it differs for every pattern. But what I am saying is put your pattern out because there are possibilities waiting for you. There's so much potential and go and watch the mindset video because I went into figures on there as well um, in terms of how many people are registered on um, Ravelry and how many patterns that means are being purchased and I based that off really low averages and still the figures are absolutely astounding and they make me really excited. Um, I'm also going to add in that this is one pattern that I had, I have three out and so this isn't the entire amount that I've made. There's a whole lot more because of the other patterns and this is going to just keep growing because of the amount of patterns that I have lined up for this year and beyond so I don't know if I will do another income report it hugely depends on what your response is to this so please if this helped you in any way message like comment below if you don't want your comment to be public then find me on Instagram or email me and let me know um, whether this was helpful for you I would really, really appreciate it if you would do a thumbs up, if you would share this video, um, because it's been quite gutsy for me to come out here and be this transparent. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a backlash, like there's a possibility, but I don't think that, I think that this is going to be met with um, a lot of gratitude and a lot of, I think it's going to do for me what it, for you what it did for me where it's going to open your eyes and you'll be like okay now I know that's possible how do I put my patterns out there um and also if you could share this video as well with anyone that you know that wants to be a crochet designer or is looking to build an income from their um crochet because the more people that find the hub the more I can put out there for all of you so when I look at that figure and realise that from one pattern I made almost three grand and with the love crafts I probably did exceed three grand from one pattern. one pattern that I almost didn't put out because I felt so nervous that there wasn't a space for it, that there was bigger and better designers out there, that I wasn't sure that I was good enough, that I wasn't sure how to size grade patterns, um, I didn't know how to go through the tester process, all of these things that I had to learn and all of these things that I've put in my workbooks I'm so, so glad that I've done it. I'm so, so glad that I took that step and that I released my first pattern in August 2020 because literally four months later, I made the choice to go full time. And here I am telling you now, three grand from one pattern. That's crazy. And I'm really proud of myself as well. 
looking at these figures now, I'm just so glad that I showed up for myself. As I said, I'm just so glad that I showed up for myself and that I took the time and I learned how to do this. And it was a difficult process. And off the back of that, that is what created the idea, gave me the idea to start the HDDC handbook. Now the HDDC handbook is something that I wish existed when I was learning how to put my patterns out there. And on my vision board, which I'm looking at right now, it says, create the things you wish existed. And I put an image of the front cover of my workbook on there. Um, and I made this in September last year because I wanted to put this workbook out there to make this a possibility for so many more people in an easy, efficient, quick way because it took me months to the point of it took me 18 months to get to grips with how I could size grade and launch a pattern and if I'd have done this 18 months ago the figure that I'd be showing you now would be astronomical so I put the handbook together and I quickly realized that the amount of information I've got to share exceeded is huge it's absolutely huge so I split it down into separate workbooks so workbook one is actually open for pre-order now and it is 130 pages and it takes you through design ideas covering everything from copyright to inspiration to design elements all the way through to size grading which is converting your design into nine sizes extra small to five extra large and I show you step by step how to size grade a pattern and I actually size grade a pattern within it it's called example and I show you exactly what I input into the spreadsheet the formulas and how to apply it to your own designs that you have and then I am also releasing the pattern example alongside of it. So if you buy the workbook, you get the pattern for free because you can see um, within the spreadsheet exactly what you need to do to make the pattern. And also just, I think it's a nice touch that, that it's proof that it works and I've had that pattern tested and people are making their own versions of it and it's now for sale. Um, so as I said, 130 pages full of step-by-step action plans it's got grab sheets for the formulas there's the supporting videos everything there that i i wish this was there for me i really really do but now i have the privilege of being able to provide it to you so the pre-orders are now open on my website which is www.hddesignscrochet.co.uk the link is below go check it out um if you're viewing this after pre-orders, don't worry. It is also going to be available forevermore. It's just that the pricing, it differs. If you get it in pre-order, then you save yourself some money. And there's also an extra bonus package where you can join the private group. And this is limited, okay? It's limited in time and it's limited for the amount of people. You can join the private group. You will also get the group calls with a tech editor so that if you've got any queries about size grading, they can be answered for you. Um, and then you also get a pattern review with me. It's a one-to-one -one private pattern review. Once your pattern's done, I go through it and um, let you know any ways that it can be improved and what I'm really loving about it. Um, and there's only 30 of those spots available because there's only one of me and I need to make sure that I can do your pattern reviews and support the group in the best way that I can. So if you're viewing this within the 22nd of March and the 2nd of April, then you can pre-order. If you're viewing it after, then there will be a wait list so that you can get an email notification when it is available, available for general sale. Um, and if it is past April 2020, 2021, you should be able to go to my website and purchase it for yourself right now. I thought this would be like a 10 minute video and it's definitely cracking on to 40 minutes now. Thank you so, so much for your time. I hope this was really helpful. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Um, if you have other video requests, let me know. If there's something that you want to know, then please drop that below. I am going to record um, the cost of putting my patterns out there because of course I did pay for services such as tech editing to release my pattern um, for all of my patterns 
and I'm also going to put out a time scale of how long it might take you to put a pattern out there. Um, so if you have any requests, let me know below and I'll be really happy to record them for you. And I will see you soon. Ready, player one? Ready. Okay. I must say, I quite like my makeup today. <laughs> the first one is, is that I want you... The first one is, is? The first one is, is. We're doing this. <laughs> uh, and that way... <laughs> I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> Take three. What I have done is I have, that's not gonna work, is it? Is it? Let me just do that again, okay? Okay? Let me do that again. Now, I have to cut that bit out because you will have seen it. 